Greetings humans, I am called Daytron, and in this video I will be showing you how to effectively use player made factions in Cortex command. Today we will be looking at a group of interstellar crusaders known as the Order. Specializing in close range crowd control, these space age knights are a nightmare for lightly armored foes. What they lack in adaptability, they make up for with deadly firepower and potent melee weapons. The first and cheapest weapon available to the Order is the Talisman, a small energy-based machine pistol costing a mere 15 ounces of gold. It quickly loses accuracy at medium to long range, limiting its uses considerably, yet it remains an excellent choice for a backup weapon due to its low cost and weight. Next on the list is the Apostle. Being basically a larger version of the Talisman, it trades maneuverability for increased firepower and damage. Also like the Talisman, it lacks accuracy at range, making it much more suitable for defending the interior of a bunker. Next comes the Arbiter, the signature rifle of the Order. It burst fires a continual beam of energy with pinpoint accuracy over long range. Heavy armor however can be completely immune to the beam, rendering this weapon largely useless against some factions. Moving on to the Judicator, a devastating energy-based flamethrower with the ability to destroy small groups of enemy soldiers with ease. Its limited ammo and short range severely decrease its effectiveness outside of the bunker. Next up is the Redeemer, a heavy-duty plasma cannon that fires bursts of superheated energy over large distances with good accuracy. Its slow fire rate and long reload time can leave you vulnerable to retaliation. Next comes the Purifier, a single shot grenade launcher with medium range and a high damage explosion. Due to its large damage radius, it is not advised to use this weapon indoors. And finally we have the Lightbringer, a beefed up version of the Arbiter. Much like a minigun it charges up before releasing a powerful beam of energy, able to cut through both armor and terrain along with destroying spacecraft quite easily. Moving on to the only bomb available to the order, the Lift Grenade. An incredibly dangerous weapon which deploys a brief energy bubble upon detonation, anyone caught inside the bubble will be raised upwards and smashed into the ground at terminal velocity, making it very effective against both heavy and lightly armored targets. And finally we come to what makes the order so uniquely deadly, their melee weaponry. First of which is the beam sword, a multi-purpose blade of plasma able to reduce most targets into a red mist, this functional weapon also comes with a special option to switch to digger mode, allowing the user to both tunnel through terrain and collect gold like a normal digger would. Last of all we have the Beam Lance, a terrifying energy spear with a long reach and the ability to launch the user in the direction they point it, although sending yourself flying into the enemy will often result in breaking the lance, it is rare that said enemy will survive the encounter. The large blade also allows it to slice through multiple foes at once, making it the ideal close-range death machine. All of these deadly weapons can be wielded by two equally deadly troops, the Knight and the Paladin. Both of them are rather fragile in comparison with other factions, which also makes them much more mobile. The increased defense in the Paladin coupled with the tiny increase in weight makes him superior to the Knight in almost every way except cost. Ultimately, the Order remain a very strong choice against quite a few other factions, including the vanilla ones. Their incredibly high close range damage potential makes entering their bunker a dangerous task. However they will struggle when faced with heavier enemies, with most of their weaponry losing viability and being forced to rely on the heaviest options, severely limiting their mobility and efficiency. I hope you have enjoyed this information, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more.